A mother and son are facing murder charges in connection with the stabbing and beating death of a Madison County man. 47-year-old Nancy Hogan was arrested yesterday in Rabin County, Georgia. Early this morning, her 30-year-old son Brandon was taken into custody. News 13's Rex Hodge is live at the Rabin County Detention Center. When will they be extradited back to Madison County, Rex? Well, I just got word from Madison County Sheriff Buddy Harwood that the extradition of Nancy, Har uh, Nancy Hogan and her son Brandon won't likely be made until tomorrow sometime. On Tuesday, the body of Nancy Hogan's ex-boyfriend, 67-year-old Edward Prater, was found by one of his friends in the driveway of his mobile home in Marshall. He had been beaten and stabbed repeatedly, dying from blunt force trauma to the head. Investigators say Nancy Hogan and Prater had a volatile history, including multiple domestic disturbances. They tracked her white Mercedes to a friend's home on Carson Lane here in Rabin County near Clayton and arrested her yesterday on a murder warrant. Her son, Brandon, showed up at the house about one o'clock this morning. Authorities from both Madison and Rabin County were waiting and after trying to run, took him into custody as well, also on a murder warrant. Be charged with a blanket murder charge and the district attorney will look at all the evidence and make determination where uh, charge of first degree or whatever the elements uh, might lead up to uh, the severity of the murder charge. Sheriff Buddy Harwood says sometime in the early morning Brandon Hogan confessed to the crime. He also says this was not a heat of the moment crime but rather something methodically thought out and the sheriff says on the day of the crime both mother and son traveled twice to Prater's home. Now coming back out here live, you're looking at the Sally Port right there next to the jail where Brandon Hogan's um, car, a white Honda, is still being processed. Investigators say when Brandon Hogan was taken into custody, they found a weapon, but they say he never threatened them and was arrested with no incident. So processing the crime is still taking place right now. We'll continue to cover this case, of course, for you and have more later tonight on News 13. For now, Reporting live from Rabin County, Georgia, Rex Hodge, News 13.